Mr Dunkley. Yeah. Well, the Prime Minister and the Liberals now preside over the biggest blunder in Australia's history—$60 billion JobKeeper blunder, the first recession in three decades, record debt, hundreds of thousands of Australians unemployed or left behind. And they don't have a comprehensive plan to get us out of it. In fact, the only plan they have had, really, the JobKeeper plan, the member for Farrah appeared to call a handout in question time today. That's the attitude that this government has towards supporting people to get through this recession. The Grattan Institute recently analysed job losses. My electorate of Dunkley was estimated to have lost 7.9 per cent of jobs since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the third worst hit electorate in Victoria after Wannan and Mallee. We need a plan, but yet JobKeeper wage subsidy isn't reaching all of the people in my electorate who need it. The casuals, the um, local government employees at Park, who we've been fighting for week after week after week, and the Treasurer says, just go and lobby someone else, I'm not interested in helping them. The employees at Monash University Peninsula campus, they are not covered by JobKeeper and it's not good enough. The Governor of the Reserve Bank has warned the federal government that the JobKeeper program may need to be kept going beyond September to avoid the Australian economy falling off a cliff. There is not a comprehensive plan for the recovery. Too many Australians are going to be left out when the Prime Minister tries to enact his snap back. And you know who many most of those Australians are going to be women, the women who are apparently the essential workers at the front line, childcare workers, hospitality, retail, those supermarket workers that the speaker before me mentioned, women who have been hardest hit during this pandemic. We don't care about them, apparently, from the government, because the minister representing the Minister for Women in answering a question in question time today about how great this government has apparently been for women, called JobKeeper a handout. That's their comprehensive plan to get us out of this recession. 325,000 women have lost their jobs during the pandemic. Half of all JobKeeper payments are going to female workers. Where's the plan for women? Payroll jobs for women declined by 8% while male payroll jobs rose by 6.3 per cent. Where's the plan for young people? Payroll jobs worked by people under 20 decreased by 16.5 per cent. Job losses have been concentrated in sectors with high concentration of workers excluded from JobKeeper. One in three hospitality jobs lost. One in four arts and recreation sector jobs gone. That is not a comprehensive plan for the future or to get us out of this recovery. Yesterday, the Prime Minister was reported as uh, saying that one of the ways to recovery is a modernisation of how Australia approaches the economy. Well, they're nice words. If they weren't followed by um, the plan for modernisation, is just simply deregulation. How about an actual plan for modernisation of Australia's economy? Take the once-in-a-lifetime chance. Have a triple bottom line account, um, accounting method. Let's. Let's have a look, actually, at every single policy for the future having an economic benefit, an environmental benefit and some social capital benefit. No, nope. let's just have deregulation. Let's have an economy for the future that supports people, that protects the environment, that builds new jobs in new manufacturing areas and that supports women, rather than just cutting everyone off on the knees with JobKeeper in September. My electorate so hard hit by job losses. Where's our investment? Where's our investment in our roads? Where's bringing forward some black spot funding when we need it? Where's the business case for the electrification of the train line to Baxter? Where's the commitment to support the arts and the sports and the cultural hubs we have in Dunkley? That's what we need, is actually a comprehensive plan to support people, and to support institutions 
and to grow our economy and leave no one behind.